Jeremiah Engelhart back in his barn, far, far corner of the backstretch in Saratoga. Um, you got Sassy Melissa going today. Been a workhorse for your barn so far this year. How, how's she been training and, and how are you looking forward to this race? Uh, Sassy's been doing really well. You know, after her last race at Belmont, they brought one of those races, a similar race back, but she seems like she enjoys Saratoga and the, the five and a half strip here. So I wanted to kind of shoot for maybe possibly two races up here for her. So this will be the first one and, and hopefully she runs well today. Talking about your barn this year, are you carrying more horses or less horses than normal? Well, we about a little less from last year, um, but I do doing, doing things a little bit different this year. We brought everything up from Belmont and kept everything up here all spring, summer, and then fall. So it just, plan on trying to do a little bit less traveling myself and, and keep the horses a little bit closer to me. Can you talk to me a little bit about that hands-on? You, you brought the horses up here. You can see them every day. You can touch them every day. You know, what edge does that, does that give you? Well, I mean, just you know, knowing when the horses are right. You know, a lot of times when you have different strings, you're kind of relying on assistance. And if you're not there all the time, you can't see everything. So I, I do enjoy you know, being out here every day and being able to see the horses every day. Not on the Saratoga grounds, but you do have a horse going on Monday at the Oaks of Finger Lake for that, that great New York bread program we have going on now. Yeah. Can you tell me a little about that that horse and what you're looking forward to? Yeah, that Philly uh, charge nurse, she's, uh, uh, she's out of a mare by the name of Clean Jean, who I uh, trained later on in her career, and then the owner's bred her, and this is the second foal, I believe, out of the mare. And she was one that we kind of had high hopes for last year as a two-year-old, but we always knew that the mother was always, uh, you know, kind of a later developer. She was she was okay as a young horse, but she got better as she went, got older. And we brought her back this year, and she was training well. And you know, this is a big step up for her in in this race because she still never win two. But I actually really liked the race she ran last week or in her last start. And, and I'm hoping that if she kind of runs back to that race and being a home, you know, having a little bit of a home field advantage, hopefully she can uh, get the job done there. Speaking of two-year-olds, you just mentioned any two-year-olds you have high hopes for for this summer? I got a, I got a few. Uh, Joe Bucci has a couple nice uh, two-year-olds. One New York bred by the name of Fancy Pants Juliana, who's been training forwardly here. Another open uh, Arrogate colt um, named American Haylight, and uh, Coach Parcells has a couple nice New York bred fillies, uh, Maple Leaf Mel, and uh, three girls. And Maple Leaf Mel will probably run here in the first week of August. And Three girls will be more towards the end of the meet. Well, you have uh, some of the best owners in the game, I, I have to say, and one of the coolest, Bill Parcells. Yeah. Can you tell me a little about what it's like to work with a coach like that, somebody that's probably demanded a lot from his players in the field? How does that work as a, the trainer-owner relationship? He, he demands just as much from his uh, trainer and his horses too. So he hasn't he hasn't stopped coaching, and 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 I love him for it. I mean, I really do. Like he's uh, he comes out here all the time, and to be able to listen to his stories and take advice. Here with Javier Castellano, uh, back in uh, Joe Sharp's barn. Um, Javi, why, why, why did you become a jockey? Tell me a little bit about the story, how, how it all started. Well, my father was a jockey. My father he rode for 25 years in Venezuela. That's where I started. My uncle he was a jockey for my mother's side. I think it both sides. I grew up in horse races, basically. I remember since I was five years old, my, I used to be going to, to the racing with my father, and I really liked it. The, the races, the atmosphere, everything I see way to my father to come to us to the races and try to help it to clean the tack and the boots and help me. I, I wear myself and pretended to be jockey only was fired you know. up. But the the challenge was how I can I tell my parents to, to be became jockey because it's so dangerous. My father he don't want me to be jockey and and that's the was the biggest challenge in my life they try to convince my family they support me to be begin to ride horses and work out great and god i've been very fortunate to be blessed to be one of the top jockey in the country but it took a while to get there and and, and my father my father my mom and the, all my family they support my career tell me about when you first came to america what was that like trying to pick up mounts and working horses how did that all work it was tough, really tough. I came to the United States in 1997. I, in my first stop, it was South Florida, Ghost Trip, a cold day racetrack, and then I rode in Ghost Trip Part 2 also. And it's hard because the language, I didn't speak English, not at all. And, and they communicate with the trainer, be honest. And it was really tough, and it was a big challenge too, also, as well.
tell me about your 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 you had amazing support from owners and trainers over all the years. But what was your ride that you say this is my my top one of all time? What was that win that you you were like, wow, this is I've really made it. I, I am a top jockey in the world. It's hard because <laughs> when I've been riding for twenty five years and I've been very ten up, very lucky, successful, and be blessed to be part of the the all the places races in in the country. You know. To win the British Cup Classic, that's why I think my first impress, my first British Cup in the Classic, the win we go up it, why to why I think I believe it was some of the most impact me in my career because I was a young rider start stop the ladder, and I didn't have much opportunity to ride in the British Cup. That was my first opportunity ever. I can I, I had to get it done at my job, and that's why my proud. I need to try to. But to what you finish first and take it from there. Thank God it worked out great. It's still the track record of the horse, 159 in chain and long star text. I believe it's called class. Well, thank you for your time. I know you got to work some horses this morning and good luck on your mounts today. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, guys. Barn 84 with Joseph O'Brien. Joseph up in Saratoga with three horses here. You got three maidens going this weekend. How's it feel to be in Saratoga and uh, what's your plans for the summer? Yeah, it's great to be here. Um, we're excited to see how we go this weekend. Um, uh, the racing looks very competitive. We think we have uh, three horses who can, you know, hold their own. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're learning and as we go along. And um, we're looking forward to seeing how we go. What was the decision to bring horses over here for the summer? I guess, um, obviously, a fantastic prize money. Um, it's one of the biggest uh, meets in the world, the competitive racing here for the next uh, number of weeks. And uh, um, obviously I'm lucky to have been here in the past and we really enjoyed our time here. And uh, uh, we have obviously a number of owners who are keen to compete here. And uh, uh, the world is a small place nowadays. And uh, um, like I say, we're learning as we go along. Um, and uh, let's see how we go. You have three nice maidens going this weekend. Sorry, we got a horse here. Three nice maidens going this weekend. Um, Johnny Velasquez up on all three of them. Uh, this colony, you're going to get a good ride pretty much from anybody. We have some of the best jockeys in the world here. Why, JV? Well, I, obviously, I'm, I've been lucky to, to know Johnny for a number of years, um, and he's rode for me um, quite a bit in the past. Um, I have a good relationship with Ron, also his agent, and uh, um, yeah, I mean. I mean, he's one of the top jockeys in the world, so uh, uh, we're lucky to have him. Yeah, Hall of Famer, you're not going to get a bad ride out of him. Last question for you, how many horses did you bring over and do you plan on bringing any more? Uh, we have three here at the moment, um, and uh, yeah, we, we, we don't have any plans uh, just yet. Um, uh, we'll take it race by race and we'll see how we go at the weekend, and uh, we'll take it from there. Well, best of luck to you this weekend. Thank you.